What's happening guys, it's Sean Anthony and this video is going to be a little different than what you're used to from me. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to have a conversation with you, a real conversation about the truth about starting a drop servicing agency in 2020 and beyond. So drop servicing, the term itself is this new hot term. It's all over YouTube, it's all over Google. I'm leveraging it to help me grow my channel, right? But the actual business model itself, like what it actually is at its core, which I'll explain in a second, has been around for ages, right? It's actually just a rebranded term for outsourcing. Now, for us, we're basically, what we're doing as a drop servicing agency, we are connecting buyers or people who are looking for a service to sellers or providers of that service. Right? And I'm not, you, you don't have to do any of the work yourself. That's the beauty of this model, right? So let's take a look at some examples of billion dollar companies today that are using a similar type of model, right? This drop servicing model. You have companies like Uber and Lyft, right? Example number one. What do they do? Well, they don't own any of, any of the cars. All they do is they connect people who are looking for a ride to people who have cars that can give them a ride. They don't own these cars. They don't own the drivers. All they're doing is connecting these two, right? They're being the middleman. They're connecting the people who need a ride to people who can give them a ride, right? That's all they're doing. They're a billion dollar company. Airbnb, number two, this is another example. All they're doing, they don't own any houses. They connect people who are looking for a place to stay in a certain state or country or wherever to people who have a home in those states or countries or wherever that place is, right? They connect these people, people who are looking for a place to stay to people who have a place to stay. They connect these two. Expedia, this is number three. Expedia, booking.com, these travel booking websites, they don't own all these airplanes. They don't own all these hotels. All they're doing is connecting the people who need some kind of travel arrangement, a hotel, a flight, to airline companies, to hotels, to people who can provide that, right? So really you are just, the, as a drop servicing agency owner, you are the middle person, the middleman, right? And you're connecting people who need something, a certain service to providers of that service. Now, the beauty of this model, the, the reason why it's such a big, amazing opportunity these days is with the, the rise of the gig economy, right? Like freelancers, like outsourced work where you don't have to do it yourself. The beauty of this model is you can come into entrepreneurship for the first time and you can step into this agency model, this drop servicing agency model. You don't have to have years and years and years of experience delivering a certain service. You can just find people who are already expert at delivering it and connect them to people who actually need that service, right? And that's all you're doing. And eventually over time, you can build your own systems and your own processes and all that stuff. But in the beginning, all you have to do is find people who are already expert at delivering the service that you want to sell and work with them to help deliver it to your clients, right? So there's many different ways that you can actually deliver the service. There's white label providers and freelancers, right? People who are already expert at delivering the service that are outsourced companies or outsourced individuals, right? There is hiring in-house contractors or in-house virtual assistants, right? And this is more so when you've got some experience and you find a system that works and you just wanna start hiring people in-house, you can hire in-house contractors and virtual assistants to do the work for you under your company. That's kind of what we do now. You can also use software, right? So there's software out there that you can buy for like $50 a month that, that do an entire service on its own, like posting content on social media or sending out LinkedIn messages. You can buy these, these software products for $50 a month and you can sell it as a service, right? Sell it as a content creation service or a social media management service to clients for a markup, right? 500 bucks a month, a thousand bucks a month, getting them a result a result that they're looking for, right? So these companies, if you have a, and we love, we love services that are tied to growth and revenue and leads because these have a direct impact on the bottom line. It helps these companies grow and they can see it, right? But there are thousands of different services out there. There's translation services, there's transcription services, there's graphic design services, there's design, there's normal design services, all these different services, there's thousands of them out there, right? We just like marketing, advertising, and growth related services. but. You can go into this business. The reason it's so amazing, you can come into this business without any experience delivering any of the services, spend a few days learning about it and talking to these white label providers or these outsourced providers and working with them, partnering with them to, to, to get clients and deliver an amazing service to them and get them an amazing result, right? That's all you're doing. Now, the problem is, the problem is 
on YouTube, you're seeing all these videos now of all these like young kids or even these other people, maybe they're not that not, not that young, but they, they don't have any experience in this business model. They're just testing things out. They're, they're building like Kartra pages. They're sending Google ad and Facebook ad traffic to it to low quality services. Uh, and that's just not the way that I see it if you wanna build a long-term sustainable business, right? So the truth about starting a drop servicing agency is it takes work, right? I'm not saying you're never gonna work. It takes work to get going in the beginning. Yes, you can get into it with zero experience and zero dollars, but you need to be willing to learn. You need to be willing to take action. You need to be willing to talk to your clients and help them get a result. This is not some kind of business like drop shipping, and I've been in drop shipping. I've generated millions of dollars in drop shipping. It's not like drop shipping where you just sell low ticket crappy products from China and just hope for the best, right? And find winning services every single week. You can do that, but what's what's the point? You, your business gets worse over time, right? So if you wanna build a long-term sustainable business in this drop servicing industry, right? If you wanna start a drop servicing agency and have it get better over time, right? Then I want you to follow these five steps that I'm gonna lay out in here. I'm gonna jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you the five simple steps to starting a drop servicing agency the right way from someone who has actually generated multi six figures in this business model over the last two and a half years and how to get better and better and better over time. How to go up over time instead of down and having to find winning services every single week, okay? So let's jump into my computer. I'm gonna walk through this with you. This is how I've set my business up and this is how you should if you want that long-term sustainable business that's gonna get better over time, okay? So let's hop right into my computer now. All right guys, so in this part of the video, I'm gonna go over the five simple steps to a six-figure drop servicing agency that actually gets better over time, right? A business that gets better, not worse over time. Now, these exact five steps are the ones that I use to 10X my business and build a multi six-figure drop servicing agency in five months. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that you're gonna do the same thing here. I had experience before, we had a local marketing agency before we pivoted and started offering LinkedIn as a service. But you can see here on the left, August 2018, we were at $4,000 a month on our new offer at Growth Response, and we got to $37,000 per month by 2019. That's nearly a 10X in five months using the steps I'm gonna outline in this part of the video. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Step number one is to pick a vertical niche. This means to pick a vertical or industry that you wanna work with and specialize in getting results for, okay? Now you should have prior experience, you should be passionate about it, or at the very least, interested in learning more about and potentially working with the vertical industry long term, right? If you start getting results for them, you start getting a lot of clients, your message starts to work, you're not going to want to jump niches, you're going to want to stick in that niche and specialize in it and build your business around it, which is what you're going to do if you start seeing results with it, okay? So at Growth Response, that's B2B software, that's, that's the vertical that we focused on. And the reason I picked that was I am an entrepreneur, I'm a business owner, I use a lot of software to run my business. And I thought, why not? I'm already passionate about running my business. I'm passionate about learning more about it and getting better. Why not work with software companies who sell these software products because I use it a lot for my business. I wanna learn more about them and how they operate and help them get results, right? So that's why I picked B2B software. I wanted to use or work more with companies that sell products that I use for my business, right? I was passionate about learning more about these companies, even though I didn't have any direct experience in them myself. So that's step number one, pick a vertical niche. And I have other videos on my channel about that that you can find. Step number two is to pick a service. Now, if you are brand new to business and entrepreneurship and you haven't started an agency or anything like that before, this is gonna be a little more difficult. It's gonna be a little more difficult to pick something. Uh, but what you wanna do is identify, work from the market first, the vertical first. Identify a problem that your vertical has that you want to solve and find services that they're already buying to solve that problem. For example, we are solving the problem of lead generation at Growth Response, right? So we said, okay, I wanna solve the problem of lead generation. Every business has a lead problem, right? Nearly every single business has a problem consistently generating leads um, for any industry, right? So for software companies, we looked at them and said, okay, the problem is lead generation. What are they already buying to solve that problem? And they were buying things like Facebook ads, like Google ads, like LinkedIn marketing. They were hiring people in-house, right? Employees, sales development and business development reps. So if you want the easy button and you want a shortcut on picking the best services, pick anything tied to leads, growth, and or revenue. This is the easiest to sell and you can charge the most amount of money for, for it because every business needs it 
They need leads, they need sales, they need growth. Otherwise, why are they in business? And when you offer something that solves for that problem, it has a direct impact on their bottom line. So that's why it's easiest to sell and you can charge the most amount of money for it. So that's why we like marketing and advertising and lead generation services is because it has a direct impact on their bottom line. Now, what you then wanna do is once you've identified a problem and then you've picked a service to deliver to solve that problem that they're already buying, you're gonna find a fulfillment provider. And the way that you do that is using a simple search on Google. You can type in best white label, whatever your service is, best white label Facebook ad service, right? You can use a platform like Upwork, which is a, a freelancer marketplace. You can find individual freelancers and specialists and outsourced agencies who can actually do a ton of different services, thousands of different services. You can find pretty much anything you need to find on there. You can look in Facebook groups if you're looking for higher level skilled positions, right? So if you're looking for like high level media buyers or Facebook advertisers, which you probably won't need in the beginning, you can look at Facebook groups. And as a last resort, if you're selling lower ticket stuff, you can look on Fiverr, even though I don't like to use Fiverr too much for drop servicing, uh, but you can look on Fiverr if you're selling lower, lower ticket stuff, okay? So these are some places that you can find people to partner with. Now, there, there's basically a fulfillment provider nowadays with the online gig economy for every service you can think of. So there's no excuse for you not to be able to find a provider that you can partner with, that you can interview and figure out if you're fit to work together. There, there's no excuse for you not to be able to find someone that can help you with the service without you doing it yourself, okay? So you don't have to be an expert in the service. You just gotta pick something that you wanna offer and you're gonna go out and sell it and then you're gonna outsource that to someone else who already knows how to do it, okay? So at Growth Response, we offered done for you LinkedIn lead generation. And we use, as their fulfillment provider, we use in-house virtual assistants in software to fulfill it. We didn't start with this, but we developed a system over time of getting results. And then we taught that system to in-house virtual assistants for them to do it and pair it with their software to help them deliver the service, okay? So that's step number two, pick a service and then find a fulfillment provider that can help you deliver that if you don't have any experience in delivering the service. Step number three is to generate leads. Go out and find people who are interested in what you have to offer. So you can use free social media and cold emails, and I have other videos on my YouTube channel about this, to find prospects who are interested in your service that you picked in the last step, okay? If you picked an in-demand service that your market is already buying, then you should have no problem lining up 10 to 20 leads and appointments per month at the start, right? So if you've done the research, you've found things that your market's already buying and you're going out and offering it to them, then you should have no problem finding people who are interested because it's already a proven concept, a proven offer that converts on that vertical, right? That's why I told you to find what they're already buying. Now at Growth Response, our favorite place to find prospects, we use multi-channel on Facebook groups, Instagram, LinkedIn, and email. We use all those, ch those channels to prospect and generate leads, okay? All you're really doing on these channels is you are sending messages to your market, to people who fit your vertical industry, and asking them if they have the problem that you have the service that can, that can solve that problem, right? So that's step number three. Go out and generate leads and find people who are interested in what you have to offer. Step number four is to get clients or secure clients, right? So you've generated leads, you found people who are interested. How do you turn them into cash in your pocket? Because leads are not money. You can't take leads to the bank. You can only take cash to the bank, right? So you're gonna get clients. How do you do that? You convert leads into paying clients. How do you do that? Well, you get on the phone with these leads and you convert them, right? And I have other videos on my channel, again, on how you can convert leads into paying clients using the phone. Yes, you will suck at this in the beginning, just like any new skill you learn, right? You had to learn to walk before, you had to learn to crawl before, you're gonna have to learn how to do sales if you wanna make money, right? But if you put in the effort to learn this skill, it is the most profitable skill on earth and the most coveted skill on earth, right? Why do you think salespeople get paid so much and why do you think a lot of CEOs in the world have started off in sales? It's because it's the most profitable skill in all of business and all of life. Whether you like it or not, you're always selling, whether it's your partner in a relationship, whether it's like in business or whether it's on a deal, this, this, having the skill of sales and persuasion and learning how to get people to give you money or get people to give you something, that is the most profitable skill on earth, right? So think about it more in a positive light rather than I'm scared of sales, I don't wanna be pushy. You don't need to be pushy to sell things. You just have to learn how to listen and learn how to communicate effectively. Now, if, you, if you're not open to doing that, then you might wanna leave this video now. Go do affiliate marketing or some other business model where you don't have to talk. There's tons of them out there, right? If you're not willing to learn this, no problem. Just, then you're not, you're not gonna get any value out of this because you do need to learn how to do sales, how to get on the phone and close deals, okay? 
Now, growth response, our sales process for getting clients is we first do the prospecting and generating leads. We get on a 15 minute discovery call and then we do a demo to close that client. So on the demo, all we're doing is walking them through how our service can help them solve a problem, the lead generation problem in our case. And we show them exactly how our service helps them to solve that problem. And then we ask for the sale at the end of that, that demo. Okay, so we ask them if they wanna move forward and become a client and get this done, right? And we're either gonna get a yes or a no there. That's when someone becomes a client and they say yes. Now, step number five, once you do get a client, you're gonna outsource service delivery. So you, if you don't know how to do the service yourself, you should have already found a fulfillment provider. And once you get a client, you're gonna pay a portion of that to your fulfillment provider. So whether that's white label or freelancer or contractors and VAs like we use and software like we use, you're gonna pay a portion of the sale price that you sold it to your client for to your fulfillment provider you collect the difference between your sales price and your fulfillment price as profit. So at Growth Response, we go out and we sell on our base package for $1,500 per month on our LinkedIn service. The fulfillment cost is, depending on what the client picks, $100 to $200 per month. That means we're getting on average $1,300 per month per client in straight profit. Now, how do you get to six figures? How do you get to 100K a year plus? Very, very simple. I know I say simple a lot, but it is very simple. It's just simple math. How to get to 100K a year in our example. If you sell a service to one client, that's $1,300 per month in profit. If you sell it to two clients, that's $2,600. If you sell it to three, that's $3,900. All the way up to seven clients, that's $9,100 per month in profit. What does this mean? Well, it means that we need seven clients and that's gonna give us $9,100 per month in profit, which is $109,200 per year in profit, which means we've broken the six figure per year mark, right? So we need seven clients or more to break that 100K a year mark. Now, this is how you do that. You step one, you pick a service to sell. Step two, you get free clients using these platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, email. Then step three, you outsource delivery on freelancers, white label, Fiverr, Upwork, whatever you pick. And then you just collect a profit and you rinse and repeat. You get more clients, you outsource delivery, you collect the profit, you get more clients, you outsource delivery, collect the profit until you get to whatever this number is, right? So you need to reverse engineer your numbers based on what your sales price is, what your profit is, and figure out how many clients do you need to get 100K a year, right? And once you learn the skills of picking a service and getting clients and outsourcing delivery, all you gotta do is rinse and repeat this, right? That's really all you have to do. People overcomplicate business. All we're doing is selling a service that solves the problem. We're getting clients of people who want this service and wanna solve a problem. Then we outsource delivery and we collect a profit. That's it. Now, if you want my personal help in getting there, do you want my personal help getting to 100K a year plus in your own drop servicing agency? If you do, I will help you with building your drop servicing business from scratch. I'll help you with generating leads on demand. I'll help you with converting leads into high ticket clients. I'll help you with managing clients and service delivery. I'll help you with systemizing and automating your business. I'll help you with building an automated machine and I'll help you with scaling to the next level to six figures and beyond. I'll teach you some of our strategies that we use to do that, okay? Now, my goal is to help you, those who are the right fit, of course, build a long-term, sustainable, wildly profitable six-figure online business selling digital services that get amazing results for your clients. And the key words here are amazing results for your clients, right? This is not some crappy drop shipping, low ticket business where you don't care about the results of your clients. You need to get amazing results for your clients if you wanna build a long-term sustainable business. Now you will be, if you decide to move forward with this and we decide you're a fit, you will be an absolute weapon in business, marketing, sales, and automation after going through this coaching and this training. And if that sounds like something you want, hit the link in the description. There should be a link in the description somewhere below. Watch the short video on that page. And if it sounds like a fit, schedule a time to chat with me and we'll see if it actually is a fit to work together, okay? Now, only book time if you are dead serious about putting in the work to make this a success, okay? I get so many comments on my YouTube videos. Hey, how do I do this with zero dollars and not having to work at all? Uh, well, newsflash, you can't, okay? So if you're not willing to do the work and you're not willing to do the stuff and the steps that I just outlined in here, then you're most likely not gonna be a fit, okay? So don't book time, don't waste my time, don't waste your time. Only book time if you are dead serious about this. This is not for scared little kitties and kittens that are afraid to push themselves and learn new skills. This is not some, can I just hide behind my computer all day long and push some buttons and never talk to anyone business, right? You have to talk to clients. You have to talk to people. 
This is not some send traffic to low ticket Fiverr crap on Cartridge Pages model, right? This is real shit where you are actually helping people get results. You're building a long-term business and I only want dead serious people in here that are willing to put in the work and willing to get amazing results, not only for themselves, but for their clients that care about getting their clients results, okay? So if that's you, hit the link in the description, watch the short video on that page and schedule a time to chat only if you think it's a fit and you're willing to put in the work, okay? I'll talk to you soon if that sounds like you. If not, no worries. I got a lot of free content, a lot of free value on my YouTube channel. This is for people who are dead serious and wanna to get to 100K plus in their own drop servicing agency, ASAP, and do it the right way, building a long-term sustainable business from the start, okay? If that is you, then I wanna to talk to you. Hit the link in the description now and watch the video on that page, schedule a time to chat with me, and we'll get on the phone and see if it makes sense to move forward, okay? If not, uh, I hope you guys like this. This is a long video on the truth about drop servicing in 2020 and beyond. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys like this. I'll see you in the next video.